An investigation into financial practices put the superintendent of Romulus schools on the sidelines for weeks. Well, now that investigation is over, and a lot of people are asking, is Benjamin Edmondson coming back to work? Priya Mann, live with the very latest tonight on that story. Priya. Yeah, Kim Devin, the president of the Romulus Education Association, says there was no smoking gun in this investigation linking Dr. Edmondson to any wrongdoing. Tonight, the school board is holding a special meeting, and I'm taking a look at the agenda. There's about a dozen items. The future of the superintendent is not one of them. We want to know why it was not on the agenda for tonight's meeting. It's not clear whether the superintendent of Romulus Community Schools is coming back from paid administrative leave one week after an investigation into the district ended. There was nothing directly related to something that Dr. Edmondson did. We do not understand why he is not being brought back to work. This investigation wasn't about his future at the, at the district. This investigation is about our finance department. School board president Debbie Piles is fighting back against allegations the board hasn't been transparent. I think they're in the dark because of the narrative that's being told. Our information is on the website. It's at board meetings. There definitely seems to be a hidden agenda that I think only four of the board members may know what that agenda is. The report's recommendation was that an outside agency needs to oversee the finance department for several months. We had $700,000 of competitive bidding that wasn't done. I don't know who's responsible for that. We know that IRS payments weren't made. Right now, I want, to, I want the board to know what are all the areas that need to be cleaned up. I would say to the school board is that Dr. Edmondson needs to come back to work. You need to stop micromanaging. The teachers want him back. We were moving forward with him in charge. And what's certainly clear is that he has a lot of support here in Romulus. Now, while Dr. Edmondson has been on paid administrative leave, there has also been an interim superintendent who's being paid hundreds of dollars a day. Teachers say they want answers to that. We have been to several board meetings in the past. We'll be here tonight at this special meeting and bring you the very latest at 11. Reporting live in Romulus, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. And Priya, we should also probably mention that all of this comes on the heels of a slew of other resignations. Yeah, that's right. In just the few, past few months, the interim finance director and accountant, the head of HR and the curriculum director have all resigned. And in some of their resignation letters, they have pointed to a toxic work environment. This has been a very vocal board meeting here in the past. And of course, we will continue to see what happens tonight. Yeah. Come back to you. Stay on it. All right, Priya, thanks.